Alright guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I want to talk to you a little bit more about formatting cells. It's probably going to be the last video for now about formatting cells in terms of the overall look and the styling of it. So the very first thing I want to talk to you guys about is how to angle your text. Now people do this a lot whenever they have the column names because it gives it kind of a tabular feeling. I don't know, I guess it's just sometimes natural for some people to look at so go ahead and select a row right here and up in your home tab under the alignment section in the ribbon you're gonna see this a B little weird looking symbol it kinda looks crooked go ahead and click that and whenever you get the drop down list you're gonna see that it gives you a couple different options of how you either wanna stack your text either vertical or what you can do is you can also angle it so go ahead and let's choose angle clockwise right here so by default it gives you kind of like the template the basic angle but you can actually change the actual angle in terms of um, how sharp pretty much to the, the degrees of how sharp you want your angle so in order to do that go ahead and select whatever cells you want to format right click and choose format cells Let me fit that so you can see and actually let me move it over here so you guys can see now under the alignment tab this little thing right here that you guys may not have known what it did before this is pretty much allowing you to um, change your angle well I was trying to like say it in some kind of stupid way but that's all it does so by default it's at 45 degrees now to me it looks I don't know a little too steep so I'm gonna go ahead and take this down I don't know maybe to only like 25 degrees or something so go ahead and hit OK and as you can see it changes the angle of that so that's how you display text at an angle however I really don't like that a lot of people do I see it all the time but you know it's just not my cup of tea so I'm gonna go ahead and undo that until it's back to normal so there is actually a lot of more styling but most of it is really intuitive and I don't think I need to go over it because if you work with any piece of software before I'm guessing that you already know what a lot of these buttons do like the font family of course just changes your font the font size and you know this is just the background color of each cell this is the text color itself so for example if you wanted your text um, I don't know green actually let's give it a nice blue color and let's make it something like alright that looks pretty good so a lot of this stuff I'm not going to cover in detail it's pretty self explanatory the one thing that is specific to Excel rather than I don't know most document programs is this border option right here so whenever you click this it's going to give you a whole slew of options pretty much saying for the cells that you have selected how do you want the border so since I have this entire range selected if I choose something like thick what was that thick, thick box border kind of a tongue twister it's gonna put a border around that entire range right there pretty sweet however I actually don't like that either so I pretty much like everything plain <laughs> so uh, whenever I'm teaching these like styling tutorials um, you know, my personal taste is just to have everything default. I'm not very artsy. I'm like a computer programmer, so that's probably why. But anyways, let's get back on track. And the last thing I want to talk to you guys about in this tutorial is named styles and some default styles. So you probably see this little section. Actually, I can't even show you because I, I actually uh, minimize this so my so it look good on video and on my screen recorder but typically if you go to the home tab and over in the ribbon you go to styles you'll see this little section called cell styles and you may see this right here if it's in full screen but like I said I have Excel minimized so it'll fit on my screen recorder but anyways these right here are some built-in default styling for cells so let's actually go ahead and I decided that these column names looked a little bit crappy I'm gonna go ahead and see what Excel has built in so go to cell styles and choose 
a theme that you like. So, okay. Something like that accent one looks a lot better than the one I had. So if you ever want some default styles and you're too lazy to go through and, okay, background color, then I have to choose a font and all that stuff, you can just go ahead and apply those real quick. Again, that's just selecting them and choosing whatever one you want. Now, another thing that you can do is you can make your own cell style. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, why would I do that if I can just, you know, anytime I want a cell style, I'm just going to go ahead and apply whatever styling I want and boom. So why would I ever use this option right here? Well, the benefit of making your own cell style is you can apply it to many cells and then if you ever want to change the styling of it, you change it one time and it automatically applies to any cells you have the style applied to. So what am I talking about? Say that you wanted to make a style that had a green background like this and I don't know, maybe like white font right there. So, okay. So I like this player. That's why I highlighted them. So I'm going to make this one. Okay. I think that was the green that I chose. And of course, white font. All right. Actually, I decided that I want this background to be red. So I'm going to go red and then I have to go make this one red. Okay. This is taking a long time and say that I had like I don't know, like 10 different players selected. I would have to go through each one and change each one to red, even though it was a really simple thing to do. So let me go ahead and fix all of that. And I'll show you guys how you can do this really easily and quickly with styles. So go select whatever row you want, whatever range, and go down to cell styles and hit new cell style. So what this is going to do is it's pretty much going to say, okay, you're making a new style. Give it a name so you can remember it easily. And I'm just going to put, um, like, selected players. So now what you want to do is actually go over to this format option right here. And this is going to allow you to format your style. How do you want the cells to be formatted whenever this style is applied? Well, we want a fill of, let's say, green by default. And um, I don't know. I guess we'll make the font color white again. So color. Actually, let's make it like yellow just so it'll stand out. So I'm going to hit OK and OK. And check this out. Now, if we select this cell styles drop down, we're going to see that we have our own custom style called selected players, even though the text got cut off. So now what we can do is apply the style to any rows that we want. Apply it to that one, that one, and maybe this player. I actually don't know any players on baseball. Not a big baseball fan. But, uh, you know, this is just an example. So now we have the same. We pretty much accomplished the same thing that we did before. However, now we did with styles. So the benefit of this is any time I decide that, you know what, green actually looks like baby poop. And this white looks like, I don't know, throw up. So I need to change that. Instead of going through and changing it row by row by row, I can just go to my styles, right click whatever style I have, and select modify. So now whenever I format it, I can just put fill, I don't know, maybe this red. Actually, yeah, I like this. Let's pick a cool one. Orange. And for the font, I'll have the font white. Now I hit OK. OK, and check it out. Every single row that had that style applied gets changed all at once. And actually, this color theme is pretty stinking sweet. Might want to save this. So that, my friends, is the benefit of styles and why it's, it's actually very underutilized. So I would highly recommend if you ever have a theme that you want to apply all the time, making your own custom style. So I'm going to shut up now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.